or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Chetna Hundle and I do a variety of videos here on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I am going to be organising and decluttering my children's playroom, play area and I hope everyone's been okay. I know that a lot of mummies and daddies in the UK have been homeschooling and probably pulling their hair out at the same time. <laughs> but if you didn't already know, UK has been in lockdown for like what seems ages and ages, but since Christmas. I have a four year old, a four and a half year old, and she's in school and I have a almost two year old. <laughs> and they are quite a handful. <laughs> and it seems I have my hands more full since I have been homeschooling. So this week we've had half term break, um, so like some vacation time. Before that, before this time, she was studying with me in my office, but I feel like mentally I need a little bit of a sort of divide. So what I've decided to do is bring down her table and sort of her study materials downstairs. So she's got her like play area and study materials all in one area, as opposed to things all over the place. And if you didn't already know, I'm a Virgo, I'm a perfectionist. I like things organized, it's just the way I am. And so, again, to be become further organized, I have decided that that will be better for her because kids do learn through play. So I think like having her toys or like her blocks or Legos down here, I need to teach her something, for example, like maths, and I can use like her toys as a resource for play. Uh, it's like, I think for me, it goes hand in hand. So we've got a few more weeks of homeschooling left. And I thought I would just change it up for her to keep things a little bit more fresh, a little bit more exciting. What I'm going to do today is declutter and throw away some of their toys, which they no longer play with or that I've just become old and they're not being played with. I might do like a donation pile as well, but everything's closed at the moment, so I don't quite know how that will work out. But yeah, I'm excited to be back. This is like my first video back. I actually didn't know what to film, but I've sort of got my act together and now I have a little bit of structure in my life because homeschooling was taking up such a big part of my life. My husband has a restaurant, so we have a family business and restaurant hours are such that he has to work in the evenings. So in the mornings slash afternoon, I will be playing with my toddler as well as homeschooling my four year old and doing my housework around that. And le let's just say it leaves less time for me. That's fine. You know, hashtag mommy duties and all of that. And then come later on in the afternoon slash evening, my husband has to go to the restaurant. I'm then left with the kids to do like play or certain activities. We like to keep busy and keep things fun and interesting. So, you know, then there's like mommy chores, like cooking and the lot and the like, <laughs> you know, that I have to deal with afterwards. So I think in order for me to stay the same and organize through this, it will just help me overall mentally. So that's why I've decided to bring all of her stuff in this one area. Now, bless my husband. I was asking for storage boxes. Now, a typical man doesn't know that we like pretty things. So like pretty storage boxes. So he brought me two of these large storage boxes. Which we've just been dumping all the toys in there just to keep the floor space clear. But what I actually use is a lot of ikea furniture so like i have the ikea table there that was like five pounds and then i've got this other table here which was from b m and they, it came with two chairs so now my little one and my larger one they each have a desk or table space to do messy play or some writing on and then i have the kallax units which I'll show you in a moment, you'll see that as I'm tidying and taking stuff out and putting stuff away. 
but I love these Kallax units. Like I've got a huge Kallax unit in my lounge area, which is like underneath my TV, you know, for just various things, DVDs and whatnot. And I actually want to put some more in my office space. They're really, really good. Keeps everything hidden. And the aesthetic of them, I think it just looks really nice. And I've seen loads of like ideas on Pinterest, how you can upcycle them and sort of restyle them should you wish to move them around your house later on. So yeah, so I'm going to try and leave a link to the Kallax units down below if you like the aesthetic of them. And there's various sizes as well, so you can always find something to sort of fit your space. Um, I'll show you as well the various Kallax units that I have as well. I've got three different sized ones downstairs. But yeah, I'm just going to get straight stuck in. You know what I always say. <laughs> Grab yourselves your coffees, your hot chocolates, your potions of choice. And you can just watch along if you like tidying videos. Or you can tidy along with me. I think that will be quite fun. I like doing that like cleaning along with me or tidying along with me i think they're so much fun and i love watching videos like that I feel like i get so much motivation and inspo so yes <laughs> let's get straight into it so first things first i like to get my hair tied up and out of the way a ponytail or a mummy bun is the one <laughs> So I don't really have a system for organizing, but I do kind of like to follow Marie Kondo's principle of having everything in front of you and then organizing as you go along. As you saw, there was a hat there and now here we have a sock, which is typical. See, this is where mummies say that socks go missing. It's because kids tend to put them in funny places. So I'm dreading what else I'm gonna be finding in these bins here. So I like to categorise my items, so whether it's games or puzzles or if they're learning toys or soft toys, I like to group things together. I wanted to show you these bins right here and just show you how spacious they actually are. You can fit quite a lot in them, they're quite wide and quite deep and they come in various colours, so I opted for grey because my decor is grey and white but I also wanted to add a pop of colour so I chose these pink ones for my girls on one side you have this plain pink design on the other side it's a little bit more colourful and for handles they've got these little flaps here to help you pull the bins out this storage solution for me is completely budget friendly and that's all the more reason for me to love them I don't think you need to spend a lot to get a good storage option This is like what you call YouTuber life, <laughs> trying to get a good thumbnail. I mean, it does look really messy even just looking at it now. Oh, makes me feel anxious. <laughs> well, I just had to put you, I just had to put this in here to show you <laughs> the realities. And of course, I need a sip of water sustenance, right? It's quite a big project, so I need to stay hydrated throughout it. I don't rely on the kids to tidy up on a big scale I sort of tell them to put things where they belong but with all these bins they do get confused I mean they're only gonna be two and gonna be five so they're still quite young I do like to have them have some form of responsibility but majority of the time I do every now and again have a deep clean and then I also do this where I organize all their toys
as you can see I've started collecting and categorizing items so all the small figures and little toys are going together and finding a bunch of these learning cards everywhere <laughs> and the soft cuddly toys are being put away in a bin it's just kind of so I can see more floor space I know exactly what I'm dealing with sometimes looking at that can be overwhelming in itself so we just want to create a better system of organizing and this will help us just be more productive in the long run I think it just helps make things easier it's almost like one less thing to do as well and sort of midway I decided that I wanted to display some toys so I was getting out some of their pink teddies which they have quite a lot of and just some of their most picked cuddlies I was just wanting them out so I thought this will free up some space in the bins I don't know if you noticed that baby blocks mega blocks bag was actually empty and as I'm tidying along lo and behold I'm finding all of these mega blocks everywhere so yeah the bag is starting to get full I think I'm gonna put a list of toys or links down below of toys that I recommend for example this um, for example this mat here where the pens are really good because they're not using real ink you just fill them with water and then they can scribble away and on the mat some color develops so they think they're drawing on it i think that's such a good like toddler preschooler toy you can get mini ones for traveling in the car as well trust me when i tell you this you will thank me for so i will link some of my most recommended toys or style of toys down below if you are looking for some toys for your own kids or nieces and nephews so i shall put some links down of toys that i highly recommend Does anyone else play with their kids' musical toys? I'm having a little mini rave, <laughs> one-man party. <laughs> Gotta make each task fun, hey? It's all about motivating yourself, people. <laughs> As you can see I'm just grouping together some items so I've got all my books and learning cards in one area cars in one area the ponies in one area I'm collecting dolls in another pile and the outdoor toys in another area
this is my favourite toy. Did anyone else ever have a slinky growing up? I just had to buy that retro toy for my kids. And if any other parent has had a ball pit before, you know how annoying these balls can be. They just seem to be floating around all over the house. So yeah, I'm doing the typical Asian mum thing where I collect things in carrier bags. I'm recycling this carrier bag and using it as storage for these balls. That way they're all in one place and I don't get annoyed with seeing them floating around the house. Also, when they want to play with something like that, they have it all in one area, it's easy for them to find. I think it just makes playtime more fun for the kids as well, is if they choose to play with something, it's all there. every sort of six weeks or so two months or something like that I do have like a bit of a declutter or organization session and in those sessions I do collect some things to chuck away or donate so it appears that I've not needed to find anything the only thing I'm sort of setting aside is these baby toys and this is one of my favorite baby toys I love sensory toys for babies I just think it helps them so much especially when they're very very young I mean three months old you may think that they don't need anything to play with but it's known it's proven with studies that this does help their development and I found a costume a Halloween costume <laughs> in one of the bins and one of the things I actually like to get together for the girls is a costume rail. So similar to what they would have in say a nursery environment or a preschool. So they can sort of have fun with role play and feel like they're princesses or whatever they wish. Just to encourage their creative play. Like I remember when I was young I used to think I was Princess Jasmine. And I used to build a den or a fort using chairs and blankets and that was my castle so yeah fun times as you can see i found a wallet here and yes, I was foraging and rummaging to see if I could find any money <laughs> that my husband may have forgotten in there. But the only thing I found, unfortunately, were just some business cards. of reflection deciding 
did I do the right thing <laughs> by laying everything out on the floor? A few moments later, we must crack on. It's pretty normal to have that thought though, to start a project and to think, oh God, am I out of my depth here? <laughs> Especially with big organizational projects. But I think one of the most important things that I've learned is you gotta just keep swimming and just keep getting it done. That's the only path to making some headway here or with any project. You just gotta keep on going. You gotta keep chugging along.
just wanted to show you the progress that I had made. Those were the cuddlies on display and some of their more colourful toys I did want to show as well. There's only a little bit left to do but as you can see those are the three different size Calax units that I have. So I've got one long one there with four, a single row of four and then I've got a double row of four and then I also have a three times row of four and this is how I've set up their study area so those notice boards I'll be putting up their artwork or anything that they just want on display that they feel proud of whether it's a maths work or a drawing or any phonics that they've been learning I'm just going to put that up on the notice board just so something for them to reflect and look back on and just feel proud of themselves And that's the unit in my lounge area and I've got different bins there because I just wanted a bit more of a different aesthetic on that side of the room and I've just categorized everything in these bins one bin full of games one bin full of bits that were to join a sort of trolley and shopping area toy that they got for Christmas Then I've got all their small figures and cars and little bits and pieces in one bin, big cuddly toys in one bin, some learning resources and colouring books and puzzles in another bin. And these are just some small toys like little cuddlies and hand sized toys and little dolls. And this bin here has their soft balls and their soft number mat and their puzzles. So I've just grouped that kind of I've just grouped items together as you can see. And we even have an empty bin at the end. And those two huge, huge storage boxes that my husband had given me, they are now both empty, thank God. So that again will create more space in that play area for them. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how everything turned out and everything else is tidy and put away and organized. Well, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And suffice to say, I am exhausted now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually enjoyed that. It's a good, like, good clear out. I did end up chucking a lot away. It was just like bits and bobs that like from games that didn't have the other pieces and just like remaining bits, broken crayons, that kind of thing. Just ripped up bits of paper. I didn't actually end up getting rid of any of the toys. Whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> a little bit of a workout. Although I did sit down for majority of the time. I suppose it's a mental load of it all. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, I do feel so much better. I thought I'd just display those because it just looks a little more like a play area. And, you know, that's the whole point of a play area is you want it to look good for the kids. So they feel like, yay, wow, playtime, you know. And then you come on the study side and then I feel like their brains reset for study time. <sighs> so it's good to have the differentiation between the two. <laughs> Normally, I don't allow toys upstairs because I feel like, you know, they can get overstimulated or excited and then their brains in kind of like, you know, have they have their playtime cap on when really I want them to have their bedtime cap on. And so as not to confuse them, I kind of like to just separate everything, just makes life a lot easier for them and me. <laughs> so, yeah, I did a good clear up. And now I'm going to go and enjoy a well-deserved cup of tea. Thank you so much for watching. I have a feeling this may have been a long one. <laughs> but yes, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you've made it to the end of the video, if you could leave... Hmm, what can we leave? If you could leave me the baby emoji in the comments... That will be so much fun for me. That will let me know that you've made it to the end of the video. 
and a lot of you haven't subscribed to the channel i just wanted to say that don't be afraid to subscribe you won't be paying anything it's completely free to do so it's just to let you know when a video has gone live and you'll be supporting my channel as well and if you could give me a thumbs up that would be great i love doing organizing i find it like kind of relaxing the geek in me is like singing at the top of her lungs when i'm organizing when you're a busy mom there's less time to do so but nonetheless we persevere come on mamas and papas <laughs> we've got to get it done and if you're like me and you find it like a fun project then all the more reason to do it yeah i'm excited for my next video i also wanted to mention quickly before i go that even though i still don't have much of an upload schedule i am looking at upload days being monday and thursday so thursday will be a little bit more personal type of content so like vlogs and maybe reviews and things like that organizational videos and on monday i'm going to be labeling that mommy mondays and we're going to be discussing everything parent related so even if you're not a mummy doesn't matter daddies you can watch too and hopefully I can bring some value to you with that content and we can just have a little fun with it and maybe we can learn as we go together because there's no real manual for parenting is there so I thought that I would start that series every Monday um, I'm going to be doing that sort of content so hit that notification bell when you do subscribe and that way you won't miss a single video <laughs> thanks so much for watching take care guys bye